Hi, and welcome to our remote open house. My name is Peter Montgomery. I'm one of the senior application engineers here at Purple Platypus. Before we get into today's presentation, I just want to discuss a little bit about what we do here. So we are a Stratasys reseller, uh, selling Stratasys 3D printers. We also are a desktop metal reseller, as well as a Roland CNC reseller. Uh, we also provide uh, Epic Scan 3D scanners, as well as Protomax water jet cutters. Um, we are also a reseller for materialized software, which is great for STL manipulation, file editing, applying color, some of what, what, uh, which we'll actually talk about in this presentation. And then uh, with our sister company, Purple Porcupine, we offer 3D printing services as well as engineering and design services. So as far as the 3D printing services that we sell into, uh, we are the exclusive Stratasys Platinum reseller for all of Southern California, Arizona, as well as Nevada. I think it, uh, Nevada is missing in this slide. Uh, and the exciting thing about Additive is we serve so many different industries, especially being located in Southern California. We see a lot of uh, really neat stuff coming from the entertainment industry, uh, but we see it all over as well as aerospace, medical, automotive, a lot of different consumer products, uh, which we'll touch upon uh, in today's presentation. But really, Additive uh, touches so many different fields, uh, one of the reasons why it's such an exciting field to be in. So the focus of today's presentation is going to be the value of green and the other uh, 400 499,999 colors that you can print with. Uh, one of the most exciting things about the Stratasys J750 has been uh, its release and implementation, not for traditional engineering and design, such as structural validation, form fit, uh, that, you know, what we traditionally think of when we think of prototyping. It's actually uh, seeing it uh, using consumer product uh, development as well. So one of the big issues that we see in uh, consumer products are delays in time to market, uh, risks associated with outsourcing. The big factor here that we're focusing on is, is lack of communication, um, especially with stuff that has a real visual, aesthetic, tactile characteristic, which is a hallmark of consumer products. Um, communicating that from a designer to a manufacturer to the make sure that that is what the end product looks like on the shelf can be very difficult. And as a result of that, 79% of new products miss their launch date. And this is obviously a huge uh, missed opportunity for those companies. Uh, lost revenue, pushes out certain deadlines, and it's something that all companies are really trying to avoid. And what we are focusing on is, okay, well, why are we uh, right now experiencing this challenge? Um, and it is due to a complicated traditional process. We have a design intent, uh, with an appearance model. So what we're trying to do traditionally is we create a model that is representative of what the end use part is going to look like. The part that we're going to be producing by the tens of thousands, millions, what have you. So we have a real accurate representation before uh, we go into mass production. And right now that's, that's difficult. Uh, so by using 3D printing, uh, using the J series, the J850, J835, and uh, J uh, uh, 826, we are able to shorten time to market, rapidly prototype uh, different products, uh, streamline the workflow that we're using, as well as create very realistic models to make accurate informed decisions from. And this ultimately leads to better communication within companies and decisions being made. And really, this all comes to fruition when we see that we are designing uh, without limits. We are not uh, inhibited by what we can and cannot print because we are able to print uh, over half a million colors. We are able to match Pantone. We are able to apply wood grain textures. So we are able to create realistic prototypes for a variety of applications and make sure that the design intent is truly reflected in the prototypes that we're making. And as we see here, this is a great example of a small perfume bottle or rather a uh, nail polish bottle. And this is all off the J750. We have the capability of creating these hyper-realistic packaging so that we have a true understanding of what your product is gonna look like on the shelf, which is an invaluable uh, knowledge to have if you are a manufacturer. So, ease of workflow. As we saw before, we had this very confused looking gentleman uh, with a bunch of different uh, places, uh, directions uh, that he was being pulled in. The nice thing with the J850, uh, series, the J8 series, we'll say, is that we do have a streamlined workflow, which is that we go from our model, which is created in our traditional CAD modeling software, 
Uh, we can then use different uh, editing tools such as Photoshop. I personally prefer using Magix to apply texture and color as needed. And then we can go ahead and move that part into GrabCAD Print and go ahead and uh, print our part. And within GrabCAD Print as well, we have the ability to, depending upon the geometries and types of files we're working with, also select Pantone colors and, and, and uh, assign other characteristics there. So all of this is very streamlined, very repeatable. You could print all of this on one machine located on one side of the country, send the same file to the exact same machine on the other side of the country and get the exact same result. So it's repeatability which is huge because we're able to uh, produce a consistent, repeatable result. So as I mentioned, the solution that we are proposing for all of this is the J8 series. Uh, so the J8 series is a material, uh, uh, seven material system. Uh, so we're running six different model materials and then one support material. Uh, this is really exciting because it allows us to produce even more full color models. Uh, we can produce more digital composite materials as a result of mixing different model materials together. And on top of that, uh, with the introduction of the J26, we have all of the capabilities of the uh, J850 in terms of full uh, multi-material printing, but at a smaller footprint and uh, price point, which is very attractive, especially if you're in the consumer product development space where you're mostly making uh, smaller components and don't require that extra large bed. And as I alluded to before, one of the things that really uh, makes the J750 stand out uh, from the uh, from the rest, the J750, J850 series, the J series stand out above the rest is that it is a Pantone validated printer and it's the only system out there on the market that does have this Pantone validation. And it's extremely important that it has this because Pantone is really the industry standard for color assignments. I remember when the uh, J750 was uh, first introduced about four years ago now. Um, I was first introduced to color itself uh, in terms of uh, manufacturing understanding, understanding that we had a tolerance for colors, things like that. And since its development, Stratasys has been working hard in its partnership with, Pal uh, with Pantone to create what we offer now, which is completely Pantone validated models, which is huge. So we can actually match a customer's Pantone callout right in our GrabCAD software. Very easy to use. So as I mentioned, this is something that we are using in GrabCAD Print. Uh, we have both skin tone as well as uh, solid coated blocks. And these are all applicable for the J series, uh, the J850, J750, J835, and J735. And this is a great example of, okay, well, why is it important that we have Pantone? What, what is the value that that, that 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 brings? And looking at something like this, we can see a model that traditionally we'd say, okay, well, imagine it if we did hit it with an 11C. What would that look like? Or, mm, you know, let's, let's bend our minds around a, a 298C. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. We can actually print several iterations of the exact same part or maybe a, a family of parts and assign a specific Pantone color and understand exactly what they look like. So we're not trying our best to imagine it. We can actually 3D print that and make informed decisions from that. So one great example of this, uh, obviously a co cosmetic company, uh, is, uh, aesthetics is gonna be very key, very driving for them. Um, so one of their uh, challenges was their clients were taking a long time to produce visualized models, understand what their products were going to look like uh, before they entered production. This was obviously leading to delays, you know, lost revenue. Well, as a result of this, uh, they implemented the J835. Uh, so they were able to print high quality models to reduce the client's decision making process and dramatically reduce the design uh, to delivery process. So what they're saying is they were able to print models that they could hand to their customers with the confidence and say, hey, we know that when we go into production, this is what your parts are gonna look like. This is a one-to-one -one or as near one-to-one -one representation of the geometry that we have. Uh, and that gave their customer the assurances that they needed to move forward and move into production. And that is where we save the time. That is how we make up for that 75 or 79% uh, missed market opportunity. And as I mentioned before, uh, we have a Pantone validated process. Uh, so within the GrabCAD print uh, interface, we have uh, with the uh, coded Pantone values, uh, 1,800 
and uh, 67 unique colors there. And then uh, skin tone guide, so this is actually really huge for uh, companies that are going to be making uh, dolls, things like that. Uh, we're going to have uh, 110 unique colors there. Uh, so you would have to select between coated and skin tone inside of GrabCab. And that is simply done by uh, selecting on this interface here. Uh, so you can actually uh, select the book and <laughs> slide through the book. There are a lot of choices as I indicated. Or you can go ahead and uh, input a Pantone or hex or RGB value and it will start to match that. And the great thing with all of this too is the Pantone uh, will give you uh, expected accuracy of how close it's going to match to that Pantone color. Because in some instances, due to the nature of additive versus uh, traditional printing processes, there is a little bit of a discrepancy. And if it is the case that there might not be a 100% Pantone match to the color that you're calling out, you will immediately see that because it will give you a little flag uh, in the software. So you're aware of that going into the print and you can adjust accordingly. Another great example, a consumer uh, product uh, developer here, and, and we, as we see here, this is a handheld, this is exactly why these systems exist. Handheld, has ergonomic features, we have some rubber, rubber over, over molded characteristics. We want to make sure that by the time this hits the market, by the time we've spent the hundreds of thousands of dollars it's going to take to cut these tools, that this is exactly how we want the part to exist. So. The challenge that they were facing was that their uh, watering system has a lot of different materials, uh, varying levels of rigidity, uh, so getting that realistic uh, prototype is very difficult. And one of the capabilities of the J850 uh, is to be able to mix uh, different values of our Agilis, which is our flexible material, with our rigid material to create different levels of durometer. So I can specify within a model if I want something to be completely rigid or have a durometer as flexible as a Shore 30. So with that, they were able to implement the Stratasys J850, and from there, um, they could actually print multi-material parts on a single tray, allowing for the same product to be iterated over and over again until they were able to finalize the design and then move into production. And that was the huge value that they had in adopting this technology. The last uh, case study that I want to discuss is, once again, in the consumer product development realm. I like this one actually just because I thought the uh, products that they were developing were, were very colorful and was a great example of using the J750. Uh, so Synergy is a uh, design house that focuses on uh, consumer product development. They are able to skin their cases with different texture wraps using, in this case, I believe, either Photoshop or Magix to apply the texture to their part. They can then send that part to the printer, print multiple different iterations of the same geometry but with a different skin on it, hand those off to their customer and allow their customer to say, you know what, yes, the, uh, that wood grain over there, that's my favorite, and go ahead and move into production with that. So for them, it's time, test, but also touch and feel. So the ability to actually hand something off to their customer, uh, kind of as I mentioned before, not having to imagine it, not having to render it, but actually being able to hold it is the big value add for them. And as we can see here, there's a drastic reduction in time uh, from two weeks to a few hours as far as decision making and also huge savings as well. So just in conclusion, understanding these case studies, what the ability to print all these different colors brings to the table is really just the uh, ability to design and elevate your design by realizing ideas quickly and more accurately by understanding that what you're putting off the machine or putting on the machine is a representative, a true representation of your geometry. Um, full color multi-material models in a, hand, in a uh, modeler's hands earlier is huge. Uh, I know just from uh, personal use of these machines, it is incredible how reskinning a model with, with uh, different, you know, either be a wood grains, color schemes, things like that, can give a uh, single geometry a completely different feel. So being able to reskin multiple geometries, print a whole bunch of them together, pull one off and say, you know what, this, this is the winner here, and, and continue forward with my design based upon that input, it allows for a highly recursive process. Um, we're printing seven materials simultaneously on the, on the same part, uh, and this is really Another game changer as well uh, allows us to use new materials, ultra clear materials. Uh, as mentioned before, very realistic prototypes and, and that's really the goal of the Pantone matching 
and it's an end-to-end -end solution. So giving you the ability to go from your CAD model to assigning parts, to pulling that off the printer and making the decision that you need. And ultimately, that's everything that we have uh, today for our shortened uh, uh, remote open house. Uh, I thank you for bearing with us and I hope everybody stays safe. Uh, if you do have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out at ask at purpleplatypus.com. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.